Hi everyone, welcome to Doll Store Meals. And this week we're gonna make chicken with roasted fingerling potatoes. We're all gonna cook it in one pan, easy cleanup. You're probably gonna enjoy this recipe. I got this recipe from the Chew. So, and it's all made with some with Doll Store ingredients. The most sketchy ingredient we're using today, y'all, is Doll Store chicken. Pray for me. Um, I mean, it has, it has, it's called Signature Foods. It's uncooked. Uh, let me zoom in here. It says used by November of this, this year. So I don't know. I'm just taking a real big chance for you people. So, I mean, it looks legit. I mean, it, it's not freezer burn or anything. So I'm very, and some of them were kind of freezer burn at the store. So um, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, I mean, Church of Chicken has really cheap chicken now. This must be the brand that they must be using. So, all right, let's get started on the meal though. Okay, everybody, I just want to let you know how excited I was to see fingerling potatoes at the dollar store. Like, you probably have to pay four or five dollars to get fingerling potatoes at like Publix or anywhere else. So, this is a really fun ingredient that I found there. So, but you can see I put the chicken, we got the onions in here, and got the fingerling potatoes. I should have been extra ghetto and just took all the onions out of here, but then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to use this for a later recipe. But guess I also found olive oil at the dollar store. So um, I'm not sure how it's gonna taste, but we're gonna try it. I'm trying to keep it with the theme today. Let me get my knife skills on a little bit. Let me show you what I'm working with. Okay, be extra careful though. Shouldn't play with knives. All right, Put this back over. Squeeze all the juice out. Like this is like kind of fancy meal that you can probably make for your family or your significant other, you know? So I'm trying to get all this juice out. Squeeze it all out. Oh, I forgot to do the zest first, but oh well, I'm still gonna do it anyway. Now I'm gonna add my rest of my seasoning, olive oil. Michael put too much. I don't want to be soaking olive oil. I'm going to toss all this around in a second. First, we need some salt. Well, Y'all got some salt in your house. Not too much, though. I don't want high blood pressure, so watch it. A little garlic powder. Some pepper. I like a lot of pepper though, so use how much you want. And we're gonna be a little fancy today. And it's not a doll store ingredient, but uh, this is what they had on the chew, and I'm gonna follow their recipe because I want my chicken stuff to taste good. This is fennel seed. It looks like the stuff that you see on those little cheap pieces. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in for you. It looks like the little seeds on the pizzas, no tostinos, little cheap pizzas. But it tastes good though, so I'm gonna try it. Bring a little bit of that on there. All right, people, this is the end result. It looks pretty good. It looks really yummy. It looked like I really slaved away at the stove, but I didn't. Come back next week as we make another meal, $1 store item at a time. 